Hello? What is this lady doing? Go! Go! I don't have all day! Sorry I didn't see you. I was on the phone. Well, you need to pay attention. I've been waiting for over five minutes. Well, you're yapping on the phone. Next time I might run you over. Excuse me? Good afternoon. Hello? What is this lady doing? Come on! Oh, hello, Mr. Evans. No, I'm actually at work right now, but my husband should be home. Okay, he'll, he'll let you know everything that needs to be fixed. What are you doing? Okay. Oh, and the other thing, um, the toilet, Guest bathroom, it has been running and running. And you know, my husband said he fixed it, but you know how that goes. <laughs> Go! Move! I don't have all day! Oh my God. Um, oh, okay, Miss Evans. Thank you. Bye bye now. Jesus, lady, don't you see me trying to park? Excuse me, sir, I didn't see you. I was on the phone. Well, you need to pay attention. I've been waiting for over five minutes while you're yapping on the phone. Sir, it was not that long, okay? And again, I didn't see you. How stupid are you? Pay attention to the road. Who knows? Next time I might run you over. Excuse me? You heard what I said. Oh, great. Now I'm late. It's all your fault. Idiot. Ugh. Good afternoon. We are on the record for case number 269, Mango Park County versus Blake Jensen. I have the final pre-sentence report. I take it both sides are satisfied with the report and there are no further objections for the court to be resolved. Am I correct? You are correct, Your Honor. There's no objections from the government. Well, hello again, Mr. Jensen. Uh, hello, Your, Your Honor. I Look, I am so sorry for the way that I acted. I did not mean to, to, to treat you that way. I, I, I didn't know. Excuse me? What am I missing? How do you guys know each other? We met earlier today in the parking lot. Go ahead, as you were saying, Mr. Jensen. Just, just how sorry I, I, I am, just, just truly from, from the bottom of my heart, I, I am. It's okay, don't worry. I won't let your rudeness earlier cloud my judgment on this case. Please continue. So, uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, your Honor. All right, look, I received the pretrial investigation report. Uh, I reviewed it, approved it. Uh, this is the one that was given to me by the government for this, this case. So we're, we're, we're good on that. Very well. Uh, the court sets forth for the record due to the calculations of the report and no prior criminal history for the defendant, a guideline of 12 to 36 months of house arrest and a fine ranging from $10,000 to $50,000. Under the plea agreement, both parties are able to argue for a variance from the guideline sentence. The government may speak first. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, sentencing recommendations weigh heavily on the minds of all prosecutors. Knowing that what we are asking for is a deprivation of the liberation of one's liberty in an attempt to go ahead and quantify that which is justice. Now, in this situation, it's very difficult considering the nature of the fraud perpetrated here by our defendant. However, 
What I would like to ask is for the court to go ahead and consider the maximum guideline in terms of house arrest and fine. Thank you, District Attorney Lester. Go ahead, Mr. Jensen. So, Your Honor, before I start, I would like to state for public record how much I appreciate the professionalism of District Attorney Lester during this process. In addition, I would like to express my appreciation for the court personnel. Everybody has treated me with professionalism and nothing but respect throughout this whole process. Uh, and finally, Your, Your Highness, I mean, Your Honor, uh, I would like to thank the court I am so sorry for everything that I have done, and I humbly throw myself to the mercy of the court. Okay, Mr. Jensen, that's enough sucking up. Uh, yes. So I conclude, and let me start by saying that my opinion means nothing, right? The opinion of the court, well, that's a different story. That means a lot. But I have come to conclude that even though my actions were horrible, that still doesn't speak to the character in which is instilled upon me, nor my determination to do the next right thing. You see, Your Honor, I believe in law and order because without law and order, we don't have freedom, right? And in order for law and order and freedom to coexist, you must exercise freedom with responsibility and accountability. Now, Your Honor, I have come to grips with the fact that I broke the law. But if I believe in law and order, and I believe in freedom, and I am a man with responsibilities and accountability, well then I see it's only fit to do what Gandhi would do. And that is to accept responsibility, even if, and especially, if it incriminates me. Because that's what a man of honor would do. And in spite of my recent actions, I consider myself a man of honor. Get to the point, Mr. Jensen. The court doesn't have all day to sit up here and listen to you be poetic. Right. Your Honor, with all that in consideration, I humbly ask for leniency with no more than 12 months of house arrest and a minimum fine of $10,000. Thank you. Oh, please. Why am I not surprised? Mr. Jensen, before I announce your sentence today, I have a few things to say. Well, of course, Your Honor. I'm incredibly interested in anything you have to say. Oh, goodness. Um, as I was saying, Mr. Jensen, I thank you for your long-winded comments, but please don't think for one second that I felt as if your remorse was even genuine. Oh, no, Your Honor, I'm genuinely sorry. I, I, I don't think I can explain how do, genuine... Do, do not interrupt me again. Do I make myself clear? Crystal, clear, Your Honor. Thank you. Now, where was I? You were saying that you do not believe Mr. Jensen's remorse is genuine, Your Honor. Yes, thank you, District Attorney Lester. That is correct. I did not find Mr. Jensen's remorse genuine at all. Do, do you think he regrets his actions, Miss Lester? Your Honor, I believe that Mr. Jensen regrets that he was caught. I do not know if he regrets his actual actions, but that is for you to determine, Your Honor. Indeed, thank you, Ms. Lester. Now, taking into account all of the evidence in the case, it is plain to see the defendant acted in a very malicious way with no regards to anyone or anything other than his financial gain. Furthermore, it is the opinion of this court that if given the opportunity once again, he might do the exact same thing. Therefore, it is the judgment of this court that you, Blake Jensen, be sentenced to the maximum fine of $50,000 and 36 months of house arrest. In addition... What do you mean in addition? That's the maximum sentence... Uh, like order in this court! That is enough, Mr. Jensen. One more outburst like that and you interrupt me again, you will be fined in contempt of court. In addition to the maximum fines and house arrest, you are sentenced to 200 community service hours. While completing your community service hours, you will be court ordered supervision provided by the Mango Park Police Department. Now, does either side have any objections other than the ones noted in this report? The government has no objections, Your Honor. Excellent, Mr. Jensen. No, Your Honor. Good. Finally, 
Mr. Jensen, although you may feel that this punishment is severe, I really think you ought to take this judgment as a lesson and try to better yourself and be a productive member of this community because you got some soul searching to do. And quite frankly, you have a long, long, long way to go. Court dismissed. Mr. Jensen, I would like to wish you all the best and hope that our paths never cross again. Yeah, sure, I guess, thanks.